What's happening everybody, Jay Shockblast here, and we are here today to talk about Omega Prestige in Marvel Heroes Omega. Uh, the link explaining the program is in the description below. Uh, I will also put it into a comment and pin it. Um, I don't really want to spend a lot of time talking about the actual specifics of it. I want you to read it and decide for yourself. Uh, essentially, once you've reached Cosmic Level 60, uh, which is the sixth prestige, the hardest prestige, uh, you will have the option of rolling over into the Omega Prestige program. Uh, this is going to cost you some Attorney Splinters, uh, as it should. It's very strong, it's very powerful, um, and you're going to get a lot out of it if you go the whole route. Um, so you should have to make some kind of investment to get in. It shouldn't be for everybody, um, even though they do have a way to, to kind of buy your way to that point. Um, but what I want to talk about is... Uh, I'm really frustrated right now. Um, I, I've spent way too much time trying to make this video um, because I, I feel like I can't properly convey what I want to say. Um, and I spent way, way too much time arguing about nonsense on the forum. Um, I've, I've purposely tried to step away from the forum and only use it to, to try to find the info I need and, and get out and just not say anything because it's just not worth my time anymore. It's not worth the energy. Um, I'm, I'm growing frustrated um, by the way that people speak to one another and uh, the way they speak to me. Um, and I want to say, I have spent probably well over $3,000 on this game. I've been playing it for four years. Over four years. I've been playing it since this game was a beta. I've always been a strong advocate of this game, whether people were giving me things for free, or during the 97% of the time I've played the game where I bought everything myself. Okay. Prior to coming to console, I purchased every single thing that I ever had in the game except for Green Goblin. I think it was Green it was either Green Goblin or Vision. I was given a pack for one of those two. But ultimately I purchased everything myself. Because I love this game. I've always loved this game. I've always been a huge advocate of this game. I have I don't know, like uh, five, six, seven hundred videos. I don't even know anymore. Like, I have tons of videos about this game, and it's because I love it, and I wanted to see it be successful. And that doesn't change just because they've given me some perks, okay? Um, I take what I say very seriously. It's the reason why when people say, ask me what character should they buy next, I tell them, well, maybe you should play that character to level 10 and see how you like them because I don't want the responsibility of somebody paying real money or even using Eternity Splinters that they worked so hard for to buy a character then to say, oh, I don't like them. Like that would make me feel bad. Like I don't like that responsibility because everybody's different in the way they play this game, which is, has never been more clear uh, than when I... I had the audacity to state the obvious and say that Omega Prestige is optional, okay? You don't have to do it. I understand why people want to do it. I want my character to be as, as beastly as possible too. Um, I, I strive for Omega uh, Cosmic Prestige just like everybody else. And I have just nothing but respect for people that grind their characters out of the love of it to get to that Cosmic Prestige. Whether that's a yellow name tag on the forums or the badge that you get on the console. Like, I am just tired of people pretending that I'm never critical about the game. Like, I don't overreact to everything, sure. Like, I feel like a lot of people do. Um, I, I feel like I'm rational and, and I say things the way they are. When the loot boxes, when I went 0 for 50 on loot boxes, uh, not pleased. No. And... And that was a situation where I was using house money. So, yeah, maybe I didn't, like, cry about it. Like, literally, I should have. Um, because that was an awful feeling. It was not the video I wanted to make. But it happened. And I posted it. 
because that I did not do live. I didn't have to post that. I opened 50 loot boxes, and over the course of the 50 loot boxes, I did not pull a single costume. And if I was really a sycophant, if I was really the yes man that, that people want to insult me and call me, I wouldn't have posted the video. But I did, knowing full well that people are going to see it and say, whoa, I don't know if I want to do that. And I kind of feel like by making that video, it actually helped in the long run because they were able to visually see just how awful that experience was. This free to play, I think the mistake people make is thinking that free to play games are free. They're not. People, like, they're actually the most expensive games for the most part. I've spent more money on this game than I have on probably every other game I've ever played combined. And that says something because I'm a microtransaction guy. Like, I don't. Like, there are people like Jim Sterling that freak out at every game that have microtransactions, and I get it, okay? Like, he has the right to do that. Uh, I don't. I think microtransactions are completely optional, and if people want and have the money to do it, they should be able to. Like, I don't really think that's unreasonable. I don't think it's controversial. Um, why shouldn't a company make money if people want to give it to them? Like... We make jokes like, oh, I'm throwing my money at the screen. Why won't you take it? Well, people are literally willing to... Uh, Mass Effect is a big one for me. Like, with Mass Effect, I I buy the loot boxes all the time. I mean, I like the multiplayer. I like unlocking characters. <coughs> Excuse me. So I had no problem buying their loot boxes. Um, but they made those loot boxes feel like I was getting my money's worth. And in the case of Marvel Heroes Omega, they didn't. I've actually bought loot boxes in, in Overwatch too. A game I barely play, by the way. But I buy their loot boxes, and at the end of the day, you know, they made me feel like I was getting some kind of value out of it. And these loot boxes in Marvel Heroes Omega were not. And then they changed it. And then they're going to change it again because they understand that you know people aren't going to buy them if they're not getting the value out of them and that has always been my point and i've said it to you know astros directly on twitter you know he he even quoted my tweet i said i just i just want to feel like i'm getting good value out of those boxes you know and i don't feel like i was so now they made changes and now i actually feel like the loot boxes they actually give you a decent value, especially when you consider that you're able to earn them when you get to level 60 with characters. And especially because right now there's an event going on for the Defenders for two weeks where you can earn up to 14 Hell's Kitchen loot boxes. So I, I think that they're hearing and implementing the, the type of things that people are asking for. I don't think arguing over whether or not something is optional is going to help your cause, okay? I think what's far more productive is to focus on the fact that this is not fun. It's not something that anybody ever has considered wanting to do. Prestiging 70 times is, is not my idea of fun. Unless there's some kind of way that you can like get like amazing like unless Omega Prestige or difficulty gives you like a 500% you know XP boost or or something ridiculous or or the raids when they're finally out give you substantial XP for for beating them you know I can't imagine there being anybody like you're you're talking about somebody playing one character constantly for two to three months before they can even dream of reaching Omega Prestige. Like, there's... I'm sure there are people out there that can get it done fast, but at what cost? Like, it's not... If the only thing that you can do to implement this is to make the game grindier and to make people have to just keep playing the same content over and over again they're going to push back and they're going to go away because I mean, even call of duty, a game where most people are playing the vanilla maps only and not playing map packs. Like at some point it gets boring 
playing the same maps over and over and over again. Or maybe it doesn't. And those are the only people that you're going to get to hang hang by, but like, at what cost? I, I don't think this is the right timing for this, and I don't think it's the right program for this. And I think it's very important that I do use whatever stature that I have to make that point. And that is why I, I don't understand why people are so insulting and, and think that I'm just gonna get in line and, and, and say whatever it takes to keep protecting my ability for them to put G in my account. Like, do you really think that if I'm critical about something that they, they do, that they're just gonna stop supporting me in this game? Like, they're gonna do it for the same reason I would stop supporting them because they've gotten everything they can out of me. I mean, it, it is what it is, it's a business. Like, at some point this month, there's a whole new retail Lego game coming out and three new Lego Dimension packs. And I'm all, no matter what happens, oh, and Marvel vs. Capcom, no matter what happens, I'm going to start playing those games and doing those things, you know? But I, I, at the end of the day, like, I don't know what you want, you know? Like, I'm not going to sit here and freak out about things that I don't think are as big of a deal as you. Like, I just don't. I don't think that some of the things that people freak out about are a big deal at all. Like, I don't know... <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. I just... It, and it's not just me. Like, anybody that says anything positive about the game that is an avid supporter of the game gets these accusations thrown at them, and it's stupid. And you sound stupid when you do it. Because you just sound like a sad, bitter troll. And maybe that's all you're trying to be. I don't know, but I guess maybe I have more faith in, in people than that to, to think that to be the case. Um, so this is a bad idea, man. I, I agree with everybody. It's not a good look. It, it's, it's not the way that I would do it. And I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that something better comes of it. And there's not much time for that to happen. Um, but no matter what, please give me my visual effect. I want my Nova to glow. Um, that's the biggest thing I take out of all this. Um, I think... I think there's a lot of really great ideas for people on the forum of how to handle this. I don't think this was the right way to do it, and I'm going to leave it at that. You know, you can think what you want, uh, you can say what you want. Uh, nothing changes the fact that it is an option. Um, I don't think it's a good option, and that's where I'm leaving it. But don't for a second think that I don't take my responsibility seriously. Like, I don't want you guys to spend money on something that feels unfair. I just don't. Like, that's stupid. Why would anybody want that? Like, I don't want you to be resentful towards me because you, you did something on my advice and it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to be. Like, that makes me feel awful that that could happen. Like, I'm, I'm a person too. Uh, just... I'm going in circles at this point. Take it for what it is. Um, I really hope they come up with something better. I'm afraid they won't. And um, that's all I got to say. We'll see you.